and appealing. But <laughs> since I'm not done talking about Bioware, let's go ahead and move on to Dragon Age 2. Uh, one of the team members on a new Dragon Age 2 expansion pack called Exiled March says that it's no more. Before they even announced it, they were taken off the um, project because they were needed somewhere else. Man. I really hope that doesn't mean they were taken off the project to have to go work on Mass Effect 3 ending changes <laughs> stuff. Because even though I didn't like Dragon Age 2 as much as Origins, I still would definitely play an expansion. Yeah. Because the expansion was supposed to wrap up things with your hawk. Man. You know, Bioware, like, a few years ago, it seemed like they could do no wrong. Like, it, everybody's like, oh, my God, I love all these games. Like, oh, their storytelling is so great, and right. blah, blah, blah. And then, like, what is it? Like, three years, four years later now, everybody just hates everything that Bioware it's is doing. It's because they, they lost their creativity. I mean, they're really trying to, even with Mass Effect and the Dragon Age series, they were trying to reach out to such a broad, large audience that they kind of just forgot about us that had been there since the beginning. Well, I mean, and it all kind of got watered down. No, no. To be fair, was that Bioware or was that Electronic Arts? True. Like, I, well, if it is EA, it was shame on Bioware for enabling it. This is like, but this is the kind of thing that always happens. There's always these like young rogue upstart companies making these really really cool games, and then they get bought by a major corporation, and then they have to make games under this you know, more corporate structure, right. which involves a lot more like marketing, testing, demographics, things like that. Um, and I think, you know, it just kills stuff. When you, it does. When you have to filter your creativity through maybe like 300 people, 400 people just to be able to like get a game out, when you have to like look at numbers on a chart that are like completely and totally meaningless when it boils down to it because the people that they're serving aren't the real gamers, they're not the real people marketing and by marketing, being marketed to and buying this stuff. Like, that's what happens to companies like Bioware. I know. And it's not like their games suck. I don't want to make it yeah. seem like, oh they my god, Bioware, Bioware sold out. And they like, are blah, buggy. Blah, blah. I would, see, Bethesda. that's something I would blame on EA too. You have like people pushing you to come out with a game, uh, you know, by a deadline, and they set that deadline for you, and they do that based off of those same numbers. Mm -hmm. Like, it's all this ridiculous projection stuff. It's not a natural process of On creativity. that point, I was actually in a focus group for a new video game coming out, and I was kicked out because I knew too much about gaming. Really? Yeah, I wasn't their, their main focus. Wow. Because I, I was too much of a gamer for the focus group on a new video game. I still got paid. But, but they, wow, that's ridiculous. Isn't it though? That's, that's when I was like, oh, ridiculous. wow. I thought I would be their ideal person sitting in there, but nope. No. I was you asked see? to leave. And that's the problem. That is completely the problem with the game industry right there. Um, how much of that has to do with Bioware and them having like too much going on and how much to do with EA? We're just speculating, but, yeah, you we're know, just, I think it's safe to say. All right. Moving on, I think it's time for an extra special social media reminder moment with Blake and Rachel. So, uh, as many of you are aware, we are on Twitter and we are on this site up here and we are on the YouTubes. We're all over the place. We're not just here on Twitch TV. So, uh, if you want to win awesome prizes, you should probably follow us on Twitter. We're actually going to be giving away some stuff later mm -hmm. today. Uh, you're going to be winning some sweet, sweet swag, but we'll talk about that later. We'll also be announcing the winner of the last week's contest. So, uh, be sure to stick around. Follow us at Prop Robot and at The Rachel. And you can also follow at Glass Home TV if you feel so inclined, which is our parent. Oh, corporation overlord, no, it's just us and some dudes in the studio. So. <laughs> We're no. at gunpoint right now. They're yeah. like, before monkeys! They keep us in cages when we're uh, not doing this. They do feed us pizza, though, so it's all good. Just like the Ninja Turtles. <laughs>